Hey guys, my name is Sidney Yank and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO where we now have 8 million big ones in the bank and last episode we did a lot of expansions, we've managed to now get set up uh, a whole lot more of the remote stands and all of a sudden I'm now making over a million a day which is perfect because our bank account just keeps getting bigger and bigger which means today is the episode where we start building our final airport now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the three remaining tiles and I'm gonna completely 180 the map and if I can go way down here right now hold on hold on hold on hold on <laughs> we're gonna create a new entrance and we're gonna build a brand new airport here which will be our final airport we'll slowly start deleting the other airport when our build gets a little bit closer I won't delete it just yet because it is obviously making lots of cash money moolah and we're gonna need lots of cash money moolah to be able to build this brand new airport but this is where it all begins we're gonna no we're basically no longer gonna add anything additional to this airport we'll just slowly start taking stuff away so this is it boys it's where we big our, build our big international it's where we're gonna have multiple runways lots of stands and a whole lot more passengers and i am very very excited so if you are ready for this one smash that like button down below two subscribe if you want new around here so you get notified as more episodes of this come out as i keep expanding the new airport but first things first okay, look at that, hundred thousand on the hour already let's go we are gonna buy the three remaining tiles look at this right now on the hour 124 125 right now how high is this gonna go before the hour ticks over could i get to 150 150,000 mate profit in an hour oh my goodness me we're gonna do it oh my goodness me we've done it wait can we get to i don't want to buy anything right now because it will, it will literally drop this number but I don't think there's any way to get to like 200,000, is there? I know we're going up pretty close right now. We've got three minutes remaining. What do we top out at? 170? Okay, just under 170. That was, that was really crazy. But let's spend right now, and this is really expensive. Uh, 750,000 to buy this tile. 750,000 to buy this tile. I'm already now 1.5 million in the hole. And then, bam, buy this one for the same price, 750000 We're now 2.25 million in the hole right now just to buy those remaining tiles. Redonkulous, right? Absolutely redonkulous. Now, we're going to build our brand new airport. And this is as far as I can zoom out. This is literally as far as I can zoom out right now. This is, this is as good as it gets, boys. This is as good as it gets. So we've got to try and find the middle point. Now, what I'm going to do... For the first time ever, I'm going to hopefully use some planning. Toggle planning mode. Am I now in planning mode? What, what happens now? Zones, terminals, feds. I don't know what I'm meant to build. I'm in planning mode. So let's, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get our fence and we'll utilize the fence uh, to find a central point to the map. So one, two, three four five we'll build a fence and from there we're gonna skadoodle all the way down keep it going keep it going i know this is very very long winded but we'll get to 2500 no actually we'll go to we'll go to i'll go 3000 where is it there we go bam 3000 now that is okay nowhere near nowhere near so let's add another... Oh, no, cancel you. Let's add another 2,000 onto this. No, actually, a bit too far. Another 1,000. So that's 4,000 in total, okay? That's 4,000 in total. So there's probably easier ways to find the middle of this, but I'm going to need to place a fence around the perimeter anyway. So it just makes a lot more sense. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to add 4,000 to this. So the 4,000 is then just there. So then we can kind of see where our middle point is almost going to be. So if I then do a, if I do another 1,000, so now we own 5,000 on both sides. There we go. We now hopefully have our central point. So we're going to get the road then. 
so road public road and we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven which means we're gonna have a center road point which will be you so that is one two three four five one two three four five that is our center of the map oh my goodness i thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult than what it actually was so obviously the entry to the edge of the map right now i forget how you meant to build it it's not to do with terminal is it to do with infrastructure right now one way road vehicle checkpoint how, how do i build it i kind of forget how you meant to build uh the edge of the map boundary uh big checkpoint one way road terrorist tunnel public road ah there we go world entrance world entrance which annoyingly right is two lanes annoyingly it's two lanes so we're going to be off centered on one of them now i've got to bring that up a little bit more so i actually got to delete this so that world entry right now which is i mean it, it makes sense it's two lanes so there we're losing out on one and i reckon we lose out on this one here so that'll be perfect and then we'll bring our um which is our public public service road uh, yeah our public road sorry a little bit up so this is where we're going to build the whole of our you know beginning of our brand new terminal let's fast forward anyway so the daytime comes a little bit quicker so basically what i'm going to do then is build this as a grand entrance and then we need to set up the ability to go underground to the car park but also have the approach uh, for all the bus stops and all that kind of jazz and then we're going to plan our terminal on how that is initially going to work so i won't design the outside of it just yet but we are going to go to a certain point further back uh, so if i kind of go in line with this here move this all the way up and then we'll have our, our little section just here so that is where the entrance of the building is going to be and i think that's reasonably far back enough uh, to work with so if i go and we've got to do it like this don't we so if i go a 10 if i do a 10 by 10 and then obviously a 10 by 10 and then bringing you down to here and then when i did the delete mode in this planning does it delete the walls it does it does so the reason I'm doing this is because I've also got to now design where the the, the um the kind of the, the checkpoint markers are. I mean the board no, the the what's it called? The check-in desks. Checkpoint markers? What am I even talking about right now? What am I actually talking about? So we've gotta make sure that we get quite a few bits and bobs in uh that are gonna make a lot of sense for us. So as soon as you come in right now, we're gonna have like a almost like a, not yeah almost like a, a slight little horseshoe, but not too much of a horseshoe, where I can have the ability to squeeze in a couple of stores and a uh, uh, a restaurant and all that kind of jazz. And how I'm gonna do it? We go through here, and then once I go through the the check-in desks, we're gonna make them go upstairs uh, to a security area, and I'm almost gonna make them do a spiral to then go back this way, back down into the terminal. Now it doesn't really make much sense, but I've got it semi-planned out in my head with how i'm gonna do it so if i go to now the boarding desk so desks and boarding not boarding checking desks I, I swear guys i'm going to lose my marbles if i say that it's something else one more time <laughs> so we'll use this whip and we'll go we'll basically go off what this is so if I go a little bit further up, uh, and I reckon we start it about, we'll start it about there. So I'm going to utilize that with a wall, or do I go there with the wall? It all depends on where I want my staircase to go, doesn't it? So escalators, so I can't place that down because we need something above it. So if I go up a floor real quickly, there we go there we go i should now be able to have i gone down the floor yeah placing the escalators the escalators boys uh which will drop in so this is the this is the question right now how far out do i make them go because if i was to have say the check-in desk are they called yeah they're called check-in desks <laughs> Uh, something like this 
I know we're coming out to the third one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So coming out to the third one, so if I had this here, or do I set it up to where we have first off elevators? So if I did two elevators there, and then the escalators are big enough or wide enough. Now if I did that like that, like, like that. You kind of get the best of both worlds then. You really do. You, you get the best of both worlds. And I'm going to replicate that on the opposite side. But again, this is planning mode right now. So it's just about getting this all sorted. So actually, let me place this in on the opposite side. So elevators. Bam, bam. Escalators. Bam, bam. Now, of course, you want to do a wall to wall this just off here. And then do the same going down just there. So you check in there and then you kind of go up and you do a right or left, depending on which way you want to go, which will then take you to the next floor to then spiral you around through checkpoints, security checkpoints, and then foot you in this way, which will then bring you back down and you'll be back down on this floor after you've been up. So it should all kind of technically work out in a very, very beautiful way. In a very beautiful way. So just gotta get all the basics down. Once I got the basic layout down, we'll be good to them pretty much build. We'll be pretty much good to them build. So we've got to now figure out where I want the check-in desks. And if I can remember correctly, if I go to the baggage area here, you can see that we can have six large stands for each one. So if I do a row of six, a row of six, row of six, row of six, it means I can have them four baggage and then have um, six stands for each row and then one baggage bay for each one yeah it, it makes sense in my head it makes sense in my head it should it should work out fairly well it really should um, okay so the desks here we go and we'll place you so I'll, I'll give us a two gap because I, I like the idea of what I did previously with the um, the plants. So one, two gap, uh, two, two gap, three, two gap, four, two gap, five, two gap, six. And then with the wall, well, how far should I bring this wall? do a gap just like that so this opens up this corner here to be like a restaurant or a store or even a restroom or just like a, a generic seating area or it could be the access point to go this way and this way because uh, i can do a bunch of baggage reclaim as they're coming back through the terminal on the opposite way you know what i mean it should work out fairly well so repeat the same process over here so the uh, desks the desks boys and again, we're on this one. We're giving it a two space. Two. 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 And then the final one. Two. Okay, something's messed up. Oh, <gasps> I see it. That one wasn't perfectly spaced out. Two. And a two. Beautiful. So that works out really, really well. I mean, to be honest with you, this area as well, I could also do this the um, south baggy stuff, but or I can kind of leave that to at the back here. All works out fairly well. It all works out fairly well. So now then, we've got to find the center point to pretty much all of this. So I'll utilize a wall no reason why actually there's no need to utilize the wall there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so one two three four five six 
this section here to there to there is the center so I'll just put those there for place markers right now uh, but if I then get the desks and this again so we've given these either side almost like a two gap space so I could place that there and give it all that space there but I think we can give them both the same space so it'll be like that but actually these go by one more doesn't it yeah such a fool, Sonic. You're such a fool. Must be placed inside? What do you mean, must be placed inside? Oh, hang on. I'm out of planning mode. <laughs> I'm out of planning mode. Time to go planning mode. I was about to say then for a second. Wait, I'm inside, but then again, I'm on planning mode. Right, desks. Bam, 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 bam. Boom. Boom. And then last one, boom. So then doing this all, going all the way back. Beautiful. Look at the space now available. Oh, this is way too good. This is way too good. Is there a way in which I can like confirm that I want this and it would, it would just all build for me <laughs> is that is that a thing I don't know if that's a thing or not but I'm liking the planning anyway guys I don't normally use planning I'm liking the planning so I just run that to there uh, run these like that and now we have our little systems in place so to speak so this should work out fairly well for us then it all leads in a, in a beautiful direction uh, and that's how we're going to have it. So that's just the main part of it. Okay. That is just the main part of it all. We'll create our baggage claim areas here and here and here. But I'll design that uh, when we've gone a little bit more forward. So with that said, I don't know if I can place down security. No, it must be placed in a secure zone. But as soon as they walk through here. Oh, hold on. I've done the stair the escalators wrong. Because they go up into the elevators. <laughs> ah, he's already made the boo-boo. He's already made a boo-boo. Uh, okay, what I can do is just get rid of those uh, the first set of uh, elevators. Or does that not now feel right? I feel like it doesn't feel right. I mean, it's not a problem, but it, now it doesn't kind of technically feel right, does it? <laughs> what a noob. He's a noob. Well, let me see if I can design something a little bit different for these on this side. So once I got this right and we've sorted out security, I think we should then pretty much apply it all and get it all done. So ooh, I'm spinning all the way around right now. So if I had this, I'm trying to think of the better way to do all this. I've got ideas. So if I did one, two, wow, that, okay. That messed up, but don't worry too much just yet. And then I did, hmm, 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 hmm. How does this look upstairs? No, we, we, we're kind of losing a lot of dead space. We are losing quite a bit of space right there. I, I kind of want to combine them all, but I don't really have to. There's nothing to say that I need the escalators. So one, two, three, four. One two three four i could go for a cheeky fifth one but i'm not going to and then what we'll do is the walls okay so we'll do like that then we won't do escalators we'll just do lifts <laughs> i mean it, they don't use them like in real life you have to have to wait they'll just freely walk into them and go up to the next floor 
So we're lucky in that sense that they're not realistic, the elevators. So bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Wow, how dare you, how dare you. Right, okay, I'm, I'm pretty confident in this design right now. There is a cow there. Hello, Mr. Cow. How are you doing? Pretty confident with this design. So we'll quickly uh, sort out security up above. And then we'll get this implemented. Or we'll start to get this implemented as well. So like I said, they, they, they come in. They check in. And then they go into the elevators. Up to this floor. Where they'll then walk out. They'll walk out here and there. And then kind of come in. Queue up down here through security and then once they go through security they funnel in and then go down back into here which then becomes the inside of the terminal or the beginning of multiple terminal directions that they can pretty much head in so this is going to work out really well it's just a case of now is my security big enough that's my next not issue but that'll be my next headache do i have large enough space to implement a decent sized security area so with security in question then we have over here for this airport is this oh no we have two stories don't we we have so we've got one two three four five six so that's 12 23 because we've got one missing 23 wow I definitely don't have the space for 23. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, okay. But at the same time, there's nothing stopping me expanding security. There is nothing stopping me from expanding the security. Uh, left and right. So, yeah. Oh, I just realized, wow, we got to make him go for an international gate, too. Uh, anyway, so if I also plan out, we're going to have this a little bit further. So if I go up to a 15 for now. And then extend this up to there as well. Let me just get rid of the wall. So they come in here. And I can actually make them. I could utilize a lot of this in a weird way. So, okay, walls anyway. Let me sort these walls out. So if I went, if I give it a two space there, that digs in by two. This digs in by two. So give that as a bit of a walkway. I'm hoping that will be a reasonable spaced size. So that would go here. Right, just working this out. I'm just calculating this in my head. So just give me one memento. One memento, boys, one memento. So we got to do the zoning. So if I just go to here real quick and then bring this all the way down. Now, would I lead in with... I reckon we lead in with security to this point here. Or, or however far I can place them all in. So, security. So how many can I get in first is the question. So do I do the space with the uh, plants either side? I know this is going to take up some space. So if I just go one, two, three, four, five. So that will be five. That will be ten. Fifteen, twenty. Twenty security checkpoints. I mean, I can deal with that. And then what we'll do is I could have some smaller ones for staff. <laughs> the staff checkpoints. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Right, get rid of that to there for just a moment. Do I do a smaller one or a medium one for staff? Uh, let me just plan out the wall connection. So the wall connection will be like this. So you've got this beautiful walkway, and then you queue up, and we have it on both sides. It does give us this quite wide area in the middle. 
But that's where the Warculators get involved, isn't it? That is where the Warculators will get involved. But then again, we'll have like a central location, which will not be here. Probably be a little bit further in. Oh, I can actually make it here, couldn't I? Right, I've got, I've got so many ideas right now. So many ideas. Right, if I go down and then bring this in like this and like that. I've got so many ideas that are now all coming together. Right, that section there is then the down section to get to here. <sighs> oh, boys! He's a freaking genius. Right, I've got, obviously we've got to make sure they cross different areas. So this has to become a secure area as well. Right. Roll with me a second. Roll with me a second. Right, how many of these can I squeeze in? One, two, three, four. Annoyingly, it's not going to fit in the right amount. Because we'd always need the extra wall. So, if I scrapped it like that... And then instead, rotated it. Okay, we'll do elevators first. So if I, also, if I do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, I messed up. One, two, three. Right, this is perfect, guys. This is perfect. This is going to be perfect. So, quickly sorting out the wall just to kind of go across to here. Very good. Very. Oh, and I'm going to go to there as well. Now, I'm not too sure what I'll throw in there. But I need that open because obviously that's where they walk into this way. Now, all this space that I've got available in the middle is not going to go to waste because I just remembered I've got to do an international border. Now, yes, my whole airport is going to be international airport. I'm, I'm going to have no regional flights. So, just get this all sorted down to here. How much does that stick out by? By 110. 110. And then you down to there. So I'm not going to worry about this side because I'm just going to replicate it. I'm just going to replicate it. I just want to get this side sorted out and then we're going to officially start building. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, of course, it's got to go for an international border. So our international zone will take place here. And then going down, this will also become an international zone. There we go. So I've just got to sort out then how I do the passport control. Now, it will be automatic gates, obviously. But it's a case of how do I do these gates? Now, a couple of ways I can do it. Have an actual passport control. But obviously that will require having it completely manned at all times if i did something like that how big do them stick out by so i can make it go to there so i could do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So do the exact same thing on this side. So this allows me to have a space in between for some plants. Make it look a little bit nicer. But also space out between each person for a bit of privacy and to heighten security measures. 
So this makes life a lot easier. Oh, this is amazing. So this is working a little bit too good. It's almost like it's I've designed it like this. I haven't, guys. This has been a complete fluke. So we'll go down to here. And then for this, we'll go straight across like that. And I'm going to do plants all in between. Okay. I'll at least go to there and to there. So this is going to work out wonderfully. It will then lead us back down to here. Perfect. So I'll probably build like another restroom. Give a bunch of restroom access points. Works out fairly well. So just before I, you know, fix and sort everything out, going down this way is 17. This way, I need to go by one more. I'm just missing out on one more terminal tile. There we go. We've got that perfect now all sorted. So I can replicate the security up above. But obviously down here when they enter it, it then either go left, forward, or right into the individual terminals. Boys, this is good. This is some good stuff right now. Right, I'm going to get out of planning mode. Right, build planned objects mode. Drag to select planned building. Wait. Oh, is this what I do? Oh! Okay. And build this as well. Now, I shouldn't have done that, if I'm completely honest with you. Because of how far my contract does now need to go. So... Right, I don't want to create a plan building. There we go. Build you. It's going to take them a very, very long time. A very, very, very long time. But in the meantime, I'm making cash. That is the main thing. That is the main thing. So, shall we figure out... <sighs> hmm. I'm just realizing other stuff as well. We're going to need, like, a lot of space for, like, seating areas. So, let's figure out how we're also going to plan. So, while they all do that, then, planning mode again. Let's plan out our infrastructure for the approach of the road. So, our road obviously coming in, all that jazz, absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. But i got to figure out what the best option is to get people in and out. Now, for the ramps, which will do the public ramp going down. Is that is that not going down? Going down. I think I think I selected the wrong one, didn't I? Then yeah. So going down, we'll do it there, and then we'll do it there, and then public road. Bring it up by another four. Wow. I've got to figure out where we have in. Because I want to replicate the terminal section I did uh, previously for how we get up and down on the different floors. So one, two, three, four. If I did... Or do I do it here? Six by six. I can always delete that if it's a bit too big. I can always delete it. I just want to see how I did it over here. Oh, it takes it, it, it takes a while to scroll. <laughs> it takes a while to scroll. It's so far away we are. I want to replicate this. To how I did this point. And this turns out to be a 4x4. Four four. Right, back we go. Back we go. Back we go. Long-winded. Oh, no, they're building it already. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Okay. So four by four is this, right? Yeah. I've got to build the outer. Or destroy the outer. Oh, okay. Right, I'm, I'm now deleting everything. I'm now deleting it all. What a nightmare. Okay, now I know it's a 4x4. Four four. Oh, that wasn't in planning mode, was it? I just realised that was not built in planning mode. Okay, planning mode. <laughs> Let's try that one again. So, A4. Oh, no, I've got to give it a bit of space. So, 2. So, 4x4. Four four, that is the structure. And then I need the subway entrances. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Back into planning. That goes there. Just throwing that in so I can get the elevators in. Elevators are my friends at the moment, aren't they? They really are. One. Oh, good God. Why does it always lag at the last minute? Wait, that doesn't fit in. That did not fit in. Wait, what? That's not a four by four then, is it? Oh, the dragon, the dragon I've got to do. What is this? Wait, I'm so confused. I'm <laughs> so confused. How is it? Oh, hang on. Was it like this? I think I know what it was. There's a wall in between each one. That's what it is. That's how it is, boys. There's a wall in between each one. Okay, sweet. Uh, sidewalk. So we're now going to go to there. So we'll bring this like this. So a two gap around the whole thing. So that would be like that. That's to there. Now I'm not. I'm. I know I'm missing doors. So don't worry. Don't worry just yet. All right, this all the way around. Glorious. To be honest with you, I can actually get rid of this. And I could extend a little bit further out. But what I could do mainly is the drop-off points. So the bus showers. Uh, bus stop, sorry. So I can go... Oh, my goodness me. Come on, Senyak. What's going on with this lag right now? Bus stop. Like that. Boom. Boom. So double bus stops. And then... <clears throat> Maybe dig in slightly. For the other stops. Uh, 
We'll go car stops. Oh, it needs a lot more than you think. Oh, I'm not going to be able to squeeze it in. Hmm. Do you know what? I won't do car stops. No, 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 no. I can do car stops. I can do it on the opposite side. Ah, oh, what a damn fool. What a damn fool. Right, get all this back in. Right, he's only going to figure it out, guys. He's only going to figure it out right now. Right, so, vehicle stuff. Public road. Straight down. Straight down. Now, this is important because the space I've got left, I'm going to extend this further down. So I can get some more seating on the inside. So, okay, so now we're looking at car stops. So I can do one, two, three, four. Okay. And then we've got taxi stops. Which will go one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. One, two, three, four. Leave those two blank. So then I can do... Back to this again, sorry. Uh, sidewalk. And we're going to do a, a two deep wide sidewalk. There we go. Oh, this is no longer planning mode, by the way. <laughs> I have come back out. Which is okay, because I'm committing to this. I'm committing to that, so we'll go with it. Absolutely perfect. And I won't do any sidewalk around here just yet. We'll keep it as it is. Right, keep all that as it is right now. Now, there's a lot to get done here. Not even going to lie. There is a lot to get done. Uh, what we will also plan out is my contractor site as well. Now, we're going to have two security vehicle, or say two security, it's two vehicle checkpoints that we're going to go through, but also it's going to link me up to where I'm going to have the contractor site as well. So, placing that there, vehicle checkpoint. So, normal road into service road. Normal road into service road. So, two checkpoints like that. But obviously, we need to set up our contractor site. And we need our delivery site as well. So, delivery site, we can start just here. And then one just there. Contractor site. We'll go just there. Oh my goodness me, Sonia. Come on, you damn fool. Come on. Now, this is important why I'm placing these down. This is going to change everything for me. Right, so let me just get my road in. So the reason this is going to change everything for me right now is because I'm going to delete the original delivery site and contractor site. So they're forced to be here. You know what I mean? So if they're forced to be here, then this is where the point they're walking to and from, which makes life a whole lot easier for me. Right, terminal-wise, we're going to bring this all the way down to here now. So now I've got more room, more space for seating and stuff, and restaurant stuff if I want to get that in. Uh, for the passengers arriving. Right. 
takes a while to scroll. <laughs> but we get there in the end, boys. We get there in the end. Um, okay, so this is the uh, transit. This is the contractor. So we delete the contractor. We'll delete the livery site because I want it all on the other side. Now, it'll take a minute or two before it now figures out and updates what it needs to do. But I think I'm just now going to wait until they've got the majority of all this done. Now, if I go build in, plan building mode, and choose to build all of this. So, commit to it. Commit to it all. And then just play the waiting game, right? It's all I can do at this point is play the waiting game. The lie, it's now taken, uh, let me say it right now, 30, 35 minutes, <laughs> believe it or not, just to get to this point. Um, took a while. I don't, You don't realize how much you build until you, you build it all. <laughs> and they're still trying to finish it all up right now, but... It's pretty much almost all there anyway. A few more bits and bobs that I do want to add in just to kind of sort it all out. I've got a door there. I've got to add a door there. I don't know how I missed that door. But I want to get some uh, crossroads all in. And this is the center section. Why is that completely off-centered? Is it me? Oh, my goodness me. I've, yes. Okay, I see where I've off-centered it right now. What a noob, a noob, a noob. Right, don't worry. I can fix that anyway. I can fix that anyway. So even though the crisscross roads are here and doesn't make much sense there, they'll still be able to crisscross it anyway. So just get all that involved, which is all good. I've got some doors to the actual main part of the terminal as well. And I want to build the kind of information desk area and get a couple of chairs down as well. So just so we've got some of the basics kind of technically all placed in reality, haven't we? So, the information desk, I want to go for the big one, the big round one, boys. The big round one. And we'll place this, yeah, we'll place it just here. So that is smack bang in the center. And then what we'll do is we'll build a little bit of a wall going around it as well. So we'll go to about there. Go to about here. Bam, bam. So it becomes a little bit of a room in the background and we'll throw a little door on it on either side. Should we go for the medium sized door? Now let's just go for the normal door. Smack bang in the middle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then with that, we can also place in a couple of information desks. So we'll do a double, we'll do one there and then one there and then flip it around to the opposite side. We'll put in like a plenty more as well. But just kind of get it nice and simple to begin with. So double row of seats. And we'll use that center point. So I've got the option here of placing it like that or doing it like this. I feel like doing it like this would be better. So I'm going to do a two gap just there with it. And might as well keep up with the two gap as well. So a couple of chairs just there, just in front of the information desk. And we can probably do another two as well here. We'll do another two just there. And then do I go this kind of styly? No, we'll do another two just here to kind of match it. And I think I'll hold up for anything else because I don't know what if I'm going to put in a couple of south checking stuff just there. So I've got to expand this that way and that way anyway. But at least we've got a, you know, a couple of the basics currently in. Uh, and I'm probably going to build like a restaurant and a, a shop in these corners too. I'm not entirely sure how it's all going to go down just yet. So we'll just kind of keep it open and free to begin with. Uh, obviously, we've got to replicate all of this over on this side and then flip it around on the opposite side. But I'm not too stressed right now. But... Because I expanded down below as well, I got this room up here to, to kind of build as well. I don't know whether that's going to be worthwhile in terms of the scoot checkpoints. If one goes there, the next one then goes here, but then I've got... Oh no, that would fit in. I can actually get a two more in. Okay, we'll save that for when we need it. We'll save it for when we need the capacity. But I've got almost the basic of basic stuff in right now i need to get the additional door just here 
Uh, must be placed inside. What do you mean? What, is this not inside? <laughs> what is this then? If this is not inside, what is this? I don't know what's going on there. Right, well, don't worry about it too much. But security checkpoints now in. Two delivery, two contractor sites. The grand approach. We've got the ramps when we build the underground car park eventually. And they can now officially arrive. And they could check in. They can go up the escalator either side, which we made it really, really simple and easy for them. Up they come in to then. And obviously we'll, we'll flip this over to there as well. So they do a left or right when they come out of these. Through this, through the passport control. Then what they do then is they can go back down the escalators. And then now they're in to the terminal, which will go forward, left and right as well. So it's quite efficient. It is quite efficient, but that is just the start of it. That is just the start of it right now. If I flip it back around, we've still got a long way to go when it comes to it. I've got now nearly 12 million in the bank. So that's definitely quite a bit of cash that I can utilize to spend. But I'm not gonna get rid of this anytime soon just yet because we still got a load of expansions that we need to fund. Loads of expansions, boys. Loads of expansions, and uh, I'm quite excited for it, I ain't gonna lie. I am quite excited for it. So there's a few little bits and bobs that I have missed out on that I do need to kind of, uh, you know, tweak and all that. I will extend the sidewalk down here just so it looks a little bit better. So I bring it down to there. I am gonna have to get rid of these because I've technically now misplaced them. How I managed to do that, I have no idea idea <laughs> i have no idea how i managed to do that but we'll get rid of those anyway and i suppose you're gonna have to get rid of all of this just there as well and then we can redo it no problemos no problemos but uh yeah so next episode then we'll design what happens after we go to this stage we'll also expand left and right because we gotta build the exit from the terminal and the baggage claim areas as well so we'll have two baggage claim areas on both sides, two, uh, an exit on both sides. We'll have two exits, four baggage claim areas, because we're going to have four of the baggage bays in total with what we've got with our check-in area. And um, it should nicely wrap around down to here, so we've got a little bit of a horseshoe. Once we've got that in, we pretty much then know what space we've got around available, to then start building the terminals. Gonna build how the baggage is gonna run, but I'll probably save that and wait until I've got uh, the terminals all set up because it, we gotta figure out a system how we're gonna want our baggage bays uh, to be connected. But we should have a lot more space. I've built this very, very compact. I built it very, very compact right now, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It shouldn't be too difficult at all. Uh, car stops in. We'll get these car stops in. Bam. And bam. And then the sidewalk, well, bam. We're back in business. We are legit now back in business. There's all taxis and buses coming, uh, but no one's getting off because, you know, they can't go through here, so they won't do it. We've already set up our terminal anyway. So, this is going to be very interesting. It's still going to take a lot of work to get all done and dusted. It's still going to take a lot of work, but the main thing is... We've got plenty of money coming into the bank, so we're not going to go bankrupt anytime soon. Uh, you can see that we're making a million profit before expenses. Um, look at that income, 2.6 million. 3 million is the average daily in the last 12 days. That just goes to show how much cash we are actually making. And thankfully, boys, this new version of the airport is going to make even more. Oh, it's going to be actually quite terrifying how much money this place is going to make. It's going to be terrifying. But we will end it for here. If you are excited to see where this is going to go in the future, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.